Now to a report that might have you shaking your head or scratching it. Imagine controlling the mosquito population by releasing more mosquitoes. The Environmental Protection Agency signed off on a company releasing genetically modified mosquitoes in Florida and Texas. Our Sally Hernandez looked into how it works. Dr. Sonia Swigger is an expert in the little things and even the not so little. So each one can be very different. Some of our really tiny ones bite on tree frogs. So they're really itty bitty mosquitoes. And then some of our larger Sorophora are about an inch, inch and a half. I mean, they're pretty good sized females. Mosquitoes like that can bite through your clothing. Those are female mosquitoes. The more they bite, the more they breed. And they need that blood to produce their eggs. Uh, so it's just a slow removal in a sense, kind of like a little syringe in which they come in and, you know, kind of suck the blood up as needed and then they move on. The EPA's approval may stop that. Biotech company Oxitech wants to fight mosquitoes with more mosquitoes. It will genetically create a new male mosquito that can help wipe out the female bloodsuckers before they reach adult stage. Right now, only fogging can do that. In the adult stage is the biting stage and the disease transmission stage. So we have to fog when it's necessary to kill them. While researchers say you can't get COVID-19 from mosquitoes, Swiger says in Texas with its 85 species of mosquitoes, the chances of getting another dangerous virus or disease like Zika and West Nile are possible. It's hard to predict that. Um, it you know, especially with West Nile, it's a, a disease that most people are asymptomatic when they contract it. So they don't have symptoms, they don't get sick. Um, so I don't think we really know the percentage based of how many people are really going to get it. Sally Hernandez, KXAN News. That expert says Oxitech has been doing this research for more than a decade. It successfully deployed genetically engineered male mosquitoes in other countries. For now, it's just a test in the United States. It'll roll out in Monroe County, Florida this summer and in Harris County, Texas in 2021.